was it was winter semi, so it would have been three two. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. But I, I I think it was three two. Did y'all see the Peyton Robson? I think it was. You got it right there, dog. Three one. Really? That's crazy. Oh, they're going right into it. Oh, yo, yeah. See, <laughs> this is this is angry Pete. You can tell. <laughs> he, he wants it. That's and, and that's a real thing, man. When you get knocked into losers, you kind of get like uh, not the fear necessarily. Some people get the fear. It depends. But right? it, it changes you because you don't have that like buffer anymore. You know, you it, don't it have that depends thing. Depends on how you lose, right? If you lose and you think, man, I was playing terrible. Sometimes you can think, I can definitely come back, right? I, I wasn't warm. I got the next game, and you, you feel yourself, right? You could also be the other side where you're like, I thought I was playing good, so I know I'm going to play well for the rest of the tournament, right? Yeah. No, honestly, I mean, for me, a lot of times it just comes down to, like, I know this is it, right? Yeah. Like, nobody wants to sit down and watch everybody else play Melee. Like, fuck that. This, I came here to play Melee, and I do that by winning. That's it's, There's no money on the line here. Your boy's not getting, like, beers afterward with his Melee winnings. I came here to play Melee, and that's what I'm going to get. Yeah. So you're in losers now, and you're like, well, it's time. Put up yeah, a now or never. Exactly. And that, I feel like he, he seems to be in the put up or shut up mentality right now. He's, he's moving. He's, uh, he's hitting all the right buttons. Um, and if anything, it should be Tim that's more coming in hot, not the other way around. That's true. Yeah, we're playing. Tim just coming out from another space he's in, which, you know, there's a lot of cross over there. Five one box. Um, yeah, you can see he's throwing them on stage, trying to do the exact same thing to do to Mary, but not quite working out the same way. He is so good. He's actually just so ridiculously good at this game. I, I never ever get tired. I hate Fox. I'm like the biggest Fox player in the world. But like, dude, East Fox, front row seat for me every time, please. It's so sick. Yeah, he's definitely doing this. Oh! What the hell was that? And he, he was like the SDI down, down. who's trying to get My man's like, stupid like Baskin Robbins, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, he's nice to dunk, Such a great, he knows every single one of those recovery mix ups. He is so slippery off the stage. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, like, Pinch should definitely be having these, right? Well, they're not guaranteed. Yeah, no. There, I, there is. He should be. Tim could be better. He should definitely be succeeding a little bit more, but it's just a testament to how good he is. Uh, yeah. Up his recovery. If he does want to be taking these edge guards, he really needs to get those jab edge guards back from line. Because that is the big, like, the two ways that Arc can really destroy Fox on yeah. stage are if he actually gets out there, which is not guaranteed. You have to have time to set up two goals. Um, or if you get, there's two edge guards that are very similar to cover side B on reaction, which are the jab by the ledge or the run off there. Yeah. Um, they're essentially the same thing. It depends on your preference and risk reward on uh, the, um, what's it called, the uh, execution. Yeah, it looks like a lot longer you can try to go for a down tilt, uh, not quite covering the higher recovery. Though. Yeah. That was a wild, that was a really great combo. Did you see that tipper up tilt into down air? That tee time tended in the middle of that. Yeah, that was cool. Um, uh, obviously, yeah. catching me by surprise, not, I personally never seen that before. Um, does not take it and, and allows tee time to continue in pursuit of death. That's yeah. very impressive. Yeah, this guy did actually like a couple of stocks throughout this whole tournament and just go for custom stuff, right? Oh, yeah. That's something yeah. you're not really looking for. And man, doing that in tournament, I mean, it might cost you some games here and there. It might also win you some games here and there, but the really big picture of it is that you're learning what actually works. Yeah. And there's a big difference between learning that, you know, in the lab when you're like, I'll cuddle up with a little hot shot fit at 3 in the morning in your room, versus like out here on the stage and dead at 55. That's so rough. He missed, I hate this about Fox. He missed the fastball of the ledge after shine. It's just, it's such a, a <laughs> dumb little, just like, you have to hit the tech skill, yeah. and there's no benefit to hitting it. It's not a mix-up. Fox always wants to shine mark there. But yeah. if you miss the tech skill, oh, you're in big trouble. Like, He's going for the side view to try and cover some kind of options. Yeah. Tim Twister Pink is not going to have any of that. Well, and also, it, Tim is pretty clearly trying to read Pink's recovery. And frankly, Pink knows way, way, way too much about how to recover with Fox to yeah. ever try to do that. You, and it, I'm not even trying to say this is like a like shit talking thing. Like, oh, he's so good. Like, you just can't try to read his recovery. It's not going to work. 
Yeah, he, he recovers like mad. It's great. Um, now, that being said, Fox's recovery has inherent flaws, but if you're really, really, really reacting well as Mark, you should be able to take advantage of it. Oh, so that's a big thing. Um, Fenton is going to have to put a little more on the line here, because frankly, reading recoveries as an edge guard tool is just easier. It's why people go for it. Yeah. Uh, reacting to Fox's recovery is hard, because Fox's recovery is broken. But it is doable. And sometimes against a really good player like Ian, it's what you need to get that last bit of edge you're not finding. Yeah, well said, definitely. Um, we'll see if Tish gets clean it up a little bit more in his edge guards. He's going for the chain grab, as he needs to do, try and keep take this first stock. I would like to see maybe a little more bash from Dean, but I guess he's just trying to preserve his hands and the eye yeah, is not he's quite there. Gotta accept it, right? To an extent, um, I don't think you have to accept pummel up throw at 18. Yeah. But I mean, you, you also you can't just like expect that every time. So it, it's a little here, a little there, you know. Yeah, he cleans up the first talk though. Yeah, Peen's playing out of his mind. Yeah, and it just seems like Tim is uh, trying to catch his uh, approach, but he is not falling for it. Yeah, that's going to be it though. That's a good attack. Yep. You know, I don't want to count out Tim too bad, but that's okay, it. maybe I'm going <laughs> to. He's got to win two on, you know, Dreamland or Fountain or, or wherever. Oh, this is really good form. jab. Really good jab. That's it. Oh, oh no! And he makes it back! That was so good. Like, everything about that was so good up until... And it was just a tiny misspace. Literally, like, that was maybe five or six way. melee meters up, and he was good. That's fucked up. And it would have been a, a stock advantage. Yeah, well, I mean, he would have been high stock. Uh, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Look at that's me. what he needed for sure. <laughs> Half watching the Ludwig stream, too. Let's go Lunar Dusk, by the way. <laughs> the single lasers. He is dancing around him. Yeah, he's not going to fall for any of his tricks. My guy knows how to twirl around here. Man, this is so scary. I have a feeling that, that this is what's coming for me in Grand Finals. <laughs> oh, I think you're right. Oh, that's it. That's it. It's a little scary. <laughs> Damn. You make quick work. Yeah, that's crazy. This, 